Hi everybody, this is Scott Patton, Michelle Abraham from uh, Social Media Marketing. We're interviewing Vincent Ning. He just talked to us about Pinterest. So, how are you doing? Um, wonderful. I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm buzzed. You're buzzed, yeah. Yes. You got the adrenaline rush from being <laughs> on stage. You're a charismatic speaker. I love, I love listening to you. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I, I might be charismatic, but I blush easily. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, how did you get into Pinterest? Yeah, I, I got into Pinterest, uh, to be honest, it was the, the Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing space got really crowded. And I remember reading that Pinterest was this site that had 10 million unique visitors, fastest site to do that ever in the US. I said, this is something special. I was like, it's visual. And, okay, so yeah. what is Pinterest? So Pinterest is, uh, it, it is a social network, but it's based on visuals. And what's really different about that versus Flickr is that the pictures that you see on there uh, can link back to a website. And that's the great thing. You click on it, it goes back to a site. So I post a picture on Pinterest and I post a link, or I put a link on that picture to my website. You can, yeah. And that's the, oh. that's the great. And here's, here's the thing I got to share. is technically you can link it, that picture can link back to any website you want. Any site, yeah. So good for spammers and good for businesses. <laughs> right. So are the people that are going to benefit the most from it, like people that have like either like an Etsy store or like an online some sort of online store, or does any, can anyone benefit from it? Yeah, I, I think like I think it depends on your business goals, but for sure, like an Etsy business can definitely be, um, benefit from it. Uh, if your business is visual, you, you definitely want to be on there. Um, but you know, if you're a service business, because people say I have a, I have a boring business and should I do something, I, I tell them think of your business as a magazine cover. If you were required to make a weekly magazine, how would you design the cover? What type of topics would you want to write about? And that's how you leverage Pinterest for your service business. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah, that's really interesting. So of course, we're interested in podcasters. So we have a weekly podcast show. It goes out to you know a few thousand people every week. Uh, what should I do to use Pinterest to leverage that audience or to grow the audience? Yeah, you know, I, that's interesting because I'm actually a podcaster myself. So I, yeah. I kind of know, yeah. Um, so I know what you're, you're talking about. So I tell people when you're creating your podcast, uh, the great thing is you can create a custom image, um, preferably long, and again, like a magazine cover. What's, what's that podcast about? Oh. So for example, I have an album art for my podcast. Mm -hmm. So I could use that as the background and then let's say uh, Scott Interviews Vincent is yeah. the podcast. I could have podcast number 231, Scott Interviews Vincent, click here, post that on Pinterest, and then people that know you and know me, would, or you know you or know me, might end up clicking on it. Yeah, and they might end up listening on, on, on the actual podcast. I have to jump in because some people may not know this, but you can actually pin SoundCloud on there as well. So you can literally pin it so people don't have to leave Pinterest to actually listen to it. So for the hardcore podcasters... You got SoundCloud, you can pin that I as well. I did not know that you could listen to podcasts on Pinterest. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so we just finished talking to Steve Doughty, and he was telling us about YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now, the obvious question is, can I pin my YouTube videos on Pinterest? So, yeah, so you can actually technically pin directly from YouTube onto Pinterest, and it will autoplay within Pinterest as well. So very similar to SoundCloud, so you can do that. Um, I do recommend what people should do is to create more of a custom graphic for the YouTube video, and drive them back to your YouTube video, um, so that way they can subscribe uh, right. there. Versus trying to, because if you just stay there, you just stay within Pinterest. Now, do people subscribe to your Pinterest? Um, they, they they can, so they can follow. Uh, and so where it's different is that your Pinterest account can have several categories known as boards. So for podcasters, it might be you know it might be just very specific categories of podcasts: podcasts of your business, podcasts I enjoy listening, uh, podcasts that are just funny. So you can create those, and then again, it's 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 whatever category people want to follow. Right. So they can custom pick and choose which one interests them the most. So on YouTube, I can have subscribers. Everybody knows that. I can have likes on Facebook. Yes. And I can have people following me on Pinterest as well. Yeah, they can either follow the whole account or they can follow very specific categories wow. so that's the that's the best thing is that now people can follow niche sections niche, niche sections on Pinterest versus trying to follow everything so do Pinterest pins show up in Google like I'm thinking actually Google images yeah right so do they show up there yeah they, yeah, they do they show up on Google they show up in Bing um, on occasion actual like the pin URLs themselves um, depending on kind of the search term, actually may show up on the first page of Google itself. So, so even pin URLs uh, can be very powerful.
Okay, what's a pin URL? So a pin URL will be, it'll look something like pinterest.com slash 4568, like something like that. And that's my actual pin or is that my Pinterest account or uh, my that, group? That's my actually, board? Um, so basically every every pin that you put onto Pinterest will have a unique URL on its own. Okay. Um, so uh, to kind of backtrack a little bit, but yeah, your Pinterest account is good for Google. Um, the, the categories or boards you create within Pinterest accounts will have certain SEO power as well. But even the individual like pictures and pins you put within those categories will have power. So it's it's really So like, you're saying get on to Pinterest, <laughs> right? <laughs> you betcha. Yeah. And I have a couple of questions about so um, when you're when you're got a business but you also have a podcast, what do you do you use your podcast uh, does your podcast have its own Pinterest uh, account or do you have it as part of your own personal brand? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I, I think it's really up to what people are trying to aim for. So for my, I, I have a, a personal and a business page. Um, so I'll pin some of my business stuff on my personal page. But for a business, again, uh, you want to think of Pinterest as a resource. So you, you want to, uh, again, put up your own podcast, but maybe you're going to reshare articles that you found on Pinterest about how to start your own podcast, how to do that, because that is of interest to your, your listeners as well. Uh, so there's just so much you can do with it. Wow. Sounds like a great resource. Yeah. So do you have a tip? Like if someone was going to get onto Pinterest, what's your number one tip? Uh, my number one tip is to make sure when you get on there is to try to make as beautiful images as possible. Uh, remember, you're competing with lots of people. Think of it as a magazine cover that's competing at, at Chapters or any bookstore. Uh, and if you can create that great image and make sure you link it back to your podcast, <laughs> your website, your blog post, you'll be absolutely fine. Awesome. Great. Thanks for joining us Oh, today. you have to give us your URL. Oh, yeah. People want yes. to know more, you want to meet Vincent, where do you go? You yeah. want to listen to his podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for everything, you can visit www.mcngmarketing.com and that's where you'll find me. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, Vincent. Thank you. Great to speak to you.